Uh, Mark, we're here at the uh, the Port Authority today, and uh, what do our viewers need to know about what's going to happen with the Port of Thunder Bay and what's happening with grain shipping? Uh, well, I think I think probably we're seeing a bit of a delay this year. Not a bit. It's probably about four weeks behind. But uh, it won't affect the overall shipments out of Thunder Bay in the long run. They'll just get a late start. When the ice melts, things will get going really, really well. There's a real big focus on moving as much grain through this spring and summer. And I think all of the grain companies are, are right on board. The railways are focused, obviously, because of the legislation and the order in council. And we'll see uh, probably close to record volumes, or not, not records going back years, but certainly better than what we've seen in the last four or five. So the shipping is starting to increase in Thunder Bay? It hasn't started yet, obviously, because of this, the ice, but the, uh, the, 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 the rails have been bringing in uh, grain for the last three weeks. Uh, most of the port terminals are starting to get felt full, and when the ships start to, to uh, show up and they're ready to load, I think we'll see uh, some really, really strong volumes running through the port of Thunder Bay all the way through into the next crop year. Any predictions on the number of ships that we may get through the harbor this year? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem.